Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing um, math games and fun. First of all, hello and Merry Christmas. I know it's almost Christmas time, just four more days. So today is going to be math games and fun. Let's get started. So there are some rules for playing these games. Do not play or click on any of the ads if prompted. Use common sense to keep yourself safe in these games. I have tested them myself and they are safe, but if you click on an ad, that can be dangerous. Have fun and watch this video so you know how to play. So the first one, all of these are gonna be in the um, description box. So if you want, you can try them out. So the first one is, let me do this. So, okay, this one is called ABC Yeah Learning Games and Apps for Kids. So if you click here, it's going to take you to this website called abcyeah.com. And you can click on your uh, grade. You can do pre-K, uh, kindergarten grade K just means kindergarten grade one first grade second grade third grade fourth grade fifth grade and sixth grade plus there's also these coloring pages and videos the coloring pages you can print and the videos you can watch and make some crafts or something like that so these are what like ads are like do not click on these even if they look like really appealing and cool and do not click join now for premium. It's going to ask you to pay. And unless you really want to and you ask your parents, then uh, don't pay, please. So if you, you you get onto the website and there are some recommended games like for the holidays that you can play. Um, but if you scroll down until games by subject, you will see uh, there's art and music games, language arts games, math games, multiplication games, science games, social studies games, typing games, and writing games. So you can do math games or multiplication games, which are related to math, and all of these you can try on your own after. There's also games by theme and games by genre, which you can also play. So there's all these puzzles and yeah. And over here, money games could be part of the math games like section, so you can also try that. So this is ABC. Yeah. Now let's go on to the next website, which is called IXL um, Math. So you click on this uh, link and. Um, this one you have to pay. This is a really safe website. I've used it like a lot of times before and it's, it helps you learn. So if you do like this, then you can send it to your, um, not send it, you can ask your parents to buy the, um, membership and you can have it for, I believe, in a year or so. So there's all of these uh, grades that you can choose from. There is calculus, pre-calculus, algebra two, geometry, algebra one, eighth grade, seventh grade, sixth grade, and etc. So you can click on any one of these. Let's just do a random one, fourth grade. So let's let it load. Okay, so this is the fourth grade math section. And you can um, just click on any one of these. And there is um, a couple problems that you can do every day if you are um, like not going to pay for it. So um, this is just an uh, in and out table, which is an yeah, output table. So we know that the rule here is add 2 to the output. So 11 plus 2 is 13. 13 plus 2 is 15, 14 plus 2 is 16, 15 plus 2 is 17, 18, and 16 plus 2 is 18. 
So you submit it and it will say like excellent, correct, something like that to tell you that you are correct. So let's go back to our page and uh, let's do this next one, which is called Math Games. So move this up here. It's called Math Games. We'll do this one. Um, so this is called Math Games, Math Worksheets, and Practice Quizzes. It says, it's going to say, Welcome to Math Games, the most trusted source for free math games and skill practice online. And we'll just wait for it to load. Mm, so there's just going to be this person over here and some arrows, which you can use to click um, next. And you also have to subscribe for this one. So there is going to be all of these. And I think you have to pay for these. So um, if you want, you can just ask your parents before you do. So you're going to go to skills. And it's going to say uh, practice math by skill. And these are the ads. Don't click this one, even though we just did IXL. Um, so yeah, there's all of these. These are all math concepts. There is, um, addition, algebra, comparison, counting, decimals, division, estimation, fractions, geometry, graphing, measurement, mixed uh, equations, and lots of more. So let's just try random one, fractions. So you can do identify fractions of shapes, and this is a ad, don't click. This one is an ad. So it's just loading. Okay, so it's not loading. So it looks like we just have to um, uh, exit this one and you can try that on, on out on your own. The next one is called Prodigy Math. And we have one more after this one. So this link is going to take you to a site called um, sso.prodigygame.com. This is something that um, I like to play. It's really fun. So you're going to click login if you have already have an account and do what you um, know how to. Or you can click sign up. And you can sign up with... Um, all of these so if you click sign in with google it's going to say step one of two do you have a prodigy account if you do have a prodigy account you can click this one or if you want a brand new account you can click this one then just click next so now it's going to take you to this called choose an account type so if you are a parent, a student, or a teacher, you can do any one of these. And you can do student, and if you have a, if you sign up with a Google account, you can do receive emails about Prodigy news and promotion. But this can be really annoying because you might get an email every single day, which you don't even care about. So I would not recommend checking that. And you're going to click create account. So once you do that, it's just going to load for a little. So then it's going to say, what is your class code? And it's going to say, ask your teacher for a class code. If you have a class code, you can type that in. If you don't, just click Choose where you have live. a class code. And you can just click wherever you live. Choose your state. Uh, your state. What grade are you in? And then you, if you want to know why they are asking you this, then you can um, click that. And choose your grade. I'll do six. six. What does your wizard look like? It's going to ask, what does your wizard look like? So this is basically gender type. Um, bo girl or boy. I'm going to do girl, of course. And there are all these hairstyles that you can choose from. I'm going to do this one. Yeah, probably this one. You can choose hair color. 
uh, eye color, blue, green, yellow, orange, um, brown, and like, like br lightish brown. And skin color, so you can do any one of these and click next. Are you playing from home or from school? So if you're at home, which I am right now, and we are all the time, um, because of this virus, unless you're doing something like uh, hybrid school uh, or traditional, you can click one of those if you're playing there. But I'm going to click home. So now you're going to get um, this screen that says choose your world. Um, so you can play with your friends or play offline. And this green little bar means um, that means how many wizards are online. And they're, well, they call you wizards, which is basically your person. So you can click any one of these. I'll do Pyrestone. So it's going to load for a couple minutes. And it's just going to give you this like, little animation. And you can figure the rest out on your own. Um, and last but not least, we have this. It's called... Um, th this is just a PBS like math games, which... I'm sure a lot of you have played PBS before and watched PBS. It's really fun. So they are there are all of these um, like games. I think mostly for um, little kids. So like maybe if you're uh, let's say like third grade and under. So you can just uh, let's do any one of these. Uh, the perfect ten problem. So it's going to load for a second, and then once it loads, you will see this um, called the perfect 10 problem or whatever you're playing. This is not an ad. The this perfect is just, 10 um, problem! And it's um, going to say something like that. So it's basically Welcome like a to book. And there's now it's time for our first can here so you can figure what it out on your own and um yeah that's that's basically all our math games for today make sure that you subscribe like share anything that you need to do um to receive notifications when uh i post a new video and make sure that you um are like able to enjoy your um break um for me i think i'll be posting a couple videos every day um because of all the free time i have now um so yeah this is gonna be like probably one or two the first of like today's video or videos because i might post more if i have the time and yeah that's it just remember to be safe and have fun and this one should be a bold because just remember to stay safe because of the ads they could ask you for personal information which you don't want to give and have fun which is most important so yeah that's it for today and um remember just have a Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and yeah, have a great new year. And uh, like I said in the last video, it was just a Merry Christmas video. Uh, just um, I said that I would do math games um, and more and um, it would probably be after the 18th of December. Today is the 21st, or whatever day it is for you when you see this video. But, yeah, that was after the 18th, which means we're right on track, and we'll, you'll be seeing a couple more videos soon. So, I'll see you later. Just remember to have a Merry Christmas, and, yeah, bye!